Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, we're going to got a little project today. I, I saw a picture very briefly, probably on Facebook or Instagram, that somebody shared of a uh, Dodge A100 pickup that was a little on the radical side. It had four engines in the back of it where where the bed would be <clears throat> and I happen to remember hey I have one of those so I thought well I, I'm gonna see if I can't build my version of a quad engine truck using this matchbox 1966 a100 Dodge pickup so Let's go ahead and get this thing blown apart, check out the pieces and parts, and we'll see if we can't get this build going. Everybody, please, stay tuned. All right, we got our little A100 Dodge Matchbox all blown apart. I quit hitting everything. Had two posts. Drilled them and tapped them for 256. The back I drilled through, but I did that on purpose. Uh, it just, I'm gonna need the extra clearance, I think, if I can pull off what I'm gonna do. But uh, I've built one of these before, and it's a fun little car, fun little truck. This was brand new out of the blister, so the glass is pristine. Don't have to do anything with that. We are going to use some of the interior, and I don't think we're going to be using the bed since we're going to put four engines in the back of this thing, but nice little cat, nice little uh, rig, and we're really not going to do anything with the base because we are not going to be using that base. I have a custom base I'm working on the design of right now. That will be 3D printed and uh, be able to house the four engines. And those four engines are going to be donated by another uh, Hot, Wheels, Hot Wheels car called a What For Two. And it's uh, kind of a fantasy casting. And uh, I, think, uh, I think you're going to like what I'm going to do with it. But uh, anyway... Let's go ahead and get that casting in the stripper and I will get busy finishing up my 3D design and print that base out and we'll get this build down the road. Everybody please, stay tuned.
All right, before we get to the reveal, I'm going to take a moment or two and look back at where we started. This Matchbox 1966 Dodge A100 pickup. Let's go ahead and we will get to the reveal and just see what I was able to accomplish with this little car. Everybody, please stay tuned. Well, we got our little Matchbox 1966 Dodge A100 pickup. It's been changed a little bit, all finished up. Of course, we uh, tore it down, cut it in half, took a little bit out of the bed, and then I made a, uh, designed and printed a custom base for it in 3D on a, on a filament style 3D printer. Uh, and uh, robbed a set of uh, quad engines out of a uh, two what four, I think it was something <laughs> Hot Wheels car, and uh, then uh, the wing. When I designed the base, it had a wing that was uh, that was printed with it, but it kept snapping off. So I broke down and decided I'll just rob one off of another Hot Wheels car and figure out a way to install it in the base. So that's what that is. With that many engines and that much horsepower, you're definitely going to need some wheelie bars. So those are back there. And the wheels are uh, custom designed and printed by me on 3D printer. They are basically the Cragger style uh, Cragger SS style wheels, 12 millimeter in the back, 10 millimeter in the front. Uh, didn't do much detail on the interior, just kind of actually gave it a chrome steering wheel, but we did chrome out the front bumper, the headlights, the turn signals, the rear bumper, rear tail lights, and the backup lights. And did a little bit of detail. I, I did create just a little bit of detail on the base. With all those engines, you gotta have exhaust, and so there are, not only are there exhaust, but there's a rear end and a little bit of an oil pan in the front. But uh, I'm really happy with this one, how it came out. It, uh, I saw this picture on the internet. And when I saw that, I thought, well, heck, I can build that. <laughs> or at least I'm gonna try. So anyway, there it is, all done up, and uh, very happy with how it came out. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, I hope you will. And when you subscribe, be sure you uh, ring the bell to be notified of future builds, and share with your friends. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope you'll come back for more uh, as I produce new new content. And uh, I hope you enjoy what, what, I'm, what I'm doing. If you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments. I read all the comments and try to get uh, at least acknowledge that you commented. If I don't get right back to you, I will do my best. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next.